praying for you today. He's like, Pastor, you praying for me? He's like, yep, I'm still praying for you, brother. And I tell you, uh, God has just done a magnificent work in this man of God's life. He has a passage, and he really wants to share with you why he's getting baptized today. I just want to let the word speak for me because I really feel that uh, this word has been speaking to my spirit since early this morning. And then I'm coming from the Gospel of John, chapter 9, verses 13 to 25. And they brought to the Pharisees the man who had been blind. Now the day on which Jesus had made the mud and opened the man's eyes was a Sabbath. Therefore the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. He put mud on my eyes, the man replied, and I washed, and now I see. Some of the Pharisees said, this man is not from God, for he does not keep the Sabbath. But others asked, how can a sinner do such miraculous signs so they were divided? Finally, they turned again to the blind man. What have you to say about him? Is your eyes, it, it was your eyes he opened. The man replied, he's a prophet. The Jews still did not believe that he had been blind and had received the sight until they had, until they sent for the man's parents. Is this your son, the ex? Is this the one you say was born blind? How is it that he now can see? We know he is our son, the parents asked him. And we know he was born blind, but how he can now, now, or who opened his eyes, we do not know. Ask him. He is of age. He will speak for himself. His parents said this because they were afraid of the Jews, for already the Jews had decided that anyone who acknowledged that Jesus was the Christ would be put out of the synagogue. That's why, that's why, that was why his parents said he is of age. Ask him. The second time they summoned the man who had been blind. Give glory to God, they said. We know this man is a sinner. The final verse. He replied, whether he is a sinner or not, I do not know. One thing I do know. I was blind, but now I see. <laughs> wow. Daniel, you can speak for yourself. You can speak for yourself that I once was lost, now I'm found. Once was blind, but now I see. Daniel, do you believe that Jesus died for your sin and arose from the dead? Yes, I do. Well, Daniel, based off the confession of your faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah.